Good morning. Welcome to Subjective. I am thrilled and honoured to be talking to the wonderful Susie Bick this morning. Good morning, Susie. Morning. How are you? Very good, thank you. Good. <laughs> we talked about film, we talked yeah. about photography, we haven't talked about catwalk. Oh yeah, which okay. Which is a particular part of what you do. Yeah, which I always think I'm really rubbish at and I'm amazed that I was ever <laughs> in any shows because... You might have to stop this kind of... No, I don't think I was really very good at shows, I, honestly. Were. Okay. I was so uncomfortable doing them. I was so really? shy. I'm like, yeah, I have almost like get stage fright or something in front. I'm all right in the studio. I don't mind the studio, but I'm right. in front of people. I'm better now, actually, weirdly. Like, yeah. if I had to go and do a talk somewhere, I'd be less bothered yeah. about it than I was then. Then I'd have to have a few drinks. But with Vivian, again, I just felt hugely honoured to be asked to be in her shows. And, yeah. you know, I kind of developed with her in a way. I mean, when I first started doing her shows, I was pretty young. And then, you know, she started sending me out with Sarah and we were like this double yeah. act, yeah. which was always very spontaneous. Yeah, well, Sarah's and great. Sarah's just yeah. amazing. I mean, I'm just a huge fan of hers and right from the start, you she know, was just she was so beautiful and charismatic. Yeah, yeah. she was, uh, when like I first met her, she was going under the name of Dead Marilyn. Was she? You know, I remember Before? she was Dead Marilyn. <laughs> she? Oh my <laughs> God. God. I don't know what it was. So I worked with Vivian for many years and that yeah. was, wonderful and I loved her because of her obviously her brilliant creative talent but also I loved her personality because she was yeah. so direct she just say things like it is and that was breath of fresh air and yeah, yeah. you know and then what so feedback did you have to rehearse or was it no we used to do two shows a day so, right. we so that would yeah. almost be like a yeah. rehearsal it was very laid back I mean yeah she just like a minute before you were going out, she'd say, oh, Susie, you can be the patient and Sarah's the nurse, so just go and walk down <laughs> there like that and here's a little walking stick and yeah. she can take your temperature if you like. And, you know, just like, okay. And so, you know, it was very spontaneous. The Harlequin kissing one, yeah. I don't even know what happened. I think I just kissed her because we just did. <laughs> it wasn't... It just felt a really natural thing to do. Yeah. You know, I was probably a bit in love with her, I think. I mean, yeah. not in that way, but I was mesmerised with her. So, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it was just kind of one of those spontaneous things. Maybe Vivian asked us to kiss. I can't remember. That sort of modelling is very performative. Yeah. Pat Cleveland is a name that springs oh, yeah. to mind. A very performative catwalk yeah. modelling. Which has sort of got a bit less now. Yeah. I mean, it comes and goes, depends on design. Yeah. But it went for a long period in the sort of early 2000s where there was nothing. Yeah. The model went out, the model came back. Yeah. No interaction, yeah. no thing. Pat Cleveland, I love watching videos of her. Yeah. And yeah. all those, and Iman you yeah. know, as well. You know, the way like, they, it was almost like theatre. Yeah. So they were got, incredible. Iman used to do something with her mouth where she'd almost like be like prowling, you know, with her mouth, she'd yeah. do this thing. If you ever watch her, her mouth when she's on yeah. the catwalk, she's doing this incredible like animalistic thing. I don't know what she's doing, but she's just like this incredible creature. So catwalks when cat not my Not my favorite thing. <laughs> I, I you, used to do them. You did a lot though. I know, I used to think, why have they booked me again? Oh no, really? you know. You dread them. Any excuse not to go, like, my dog's gone in a fight, I can't do Dolce <laughs> Gabbana, he's got to go to the vet, you know? And they'd be like, what, you can't cancel? They'd be like, people give their right arm to do that show. And I'd be like, I know, I just get so much anxiety. Oh, yeah, please, yeah, I'd rather stay home with the dog. But obviously I was fortunate to be asked to do these things, but it wasn't my best sort of, I, I didn't enjoy them very much, to be right. honest. I mean, I'm glad that there's all this stuff of Vivian and, you know, yeah. that I can see now, because I can now see, oh, that was really a special time. Yeah. And I'm glad that I was part of that. Yeah. 